Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dog Daddy here and today I have a new video for you guys. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a different type of training that I do because of course you guys see a lot more of corrective training on my channel because I do work with a lot of dogs with behavioral issues that require corrections. However, I do also a lot of other types of training such as basic obedience, service dogs, advanced obedience, lots of tricks and pretty much whatever my clients request from me. The reason you guys see so much more training on my channel with dogs that require corrections and require uh, a little bit of a firmer approach is because those dogs do require someone who truly understands them. And I feel like just basic obedience, pretty much anyone can do if they put their minds to it and they want to do this type of training. So I don't show as much of it. I just feel like it's more basic. However, you guys have been requesting for me to show just different trainings that I do. And I hope you enjoy this video. I work with two excitable young five-month-old puppies that are just in need of guidance and i show you guys here exactly how i get them to listen and learn new commands we're going to the treat to teach them to leave it sit so right now if a treat fell they just go for it mm -hmm. and if i tell them to leave it leave it leave it they don't know and they kind of actually push their way through to get it so now, I'm going to do both dogs at, at the same time. First thing I'm going to do is actually use the bag, because they, they know it's there. And I'm going to start to claim the space. So I use my fingers like this to push them back a little bit. And I'll put the bag back down. Okay. So see how they're already thinking a little bit. They're like, oh wait, maybe I'm not supposed to go near that. Now the reason that I do this is a very natural way to communicate with the dog using the touch to let them know this is mine, this is my space, this is my toy, this is my food, whatever it may be, this here, send them back. Okay, now that they are waiting and they respect my space, I'm going to start putting the treats down and doing the same thing. See what I said, that the pink colored one is more, a little more pushy. She's already holding herself back a lot more. Mm -hmm. She needed one extra correction. Now I try to really show them what's happening. I make the movement of the treat so that they have to process what's happening. Especially with her, she's just thinking like, oh, when can I get it? You know, but she is, they're doing really good and I told you that it would be very easy. I mean, this took seconds, literally. So now to actually teach them, leave it, is I'm going to do the same thing. Put it down and say, leave it. Because I already taught them what it means before the command. Now it's just so that when I say leave it, they have to just ignore it. And if I say leave it and they make a mistake, this here is just a little correction that they need. Now that one, one little mistake, because she doesn't, she's in the process of learning, but she learns now that when I put it down, I say leave it. If she moves to get it, she gets that little correction. So she's going to start to not want to challenge you. Leave it leave it and i like to signal to them to the paying attention to my hand movement so I keep them focused on what you want from them leave it now as they get better we start to push them a little bit more it's going to be a little bit more challenging but it also gives them a chance to really learn that it doesn't matter how tempting it is they still have to listen to what i'm telling them so if i say leave it and i put it closed see how she thinks she can go down to get it i'm using my hand to tell her no it still means leave it leave it she, she gives up much quicker because she, has, she has, a, has a little bit more of a soft, softer personality. She is a little bit stronger, but I wouldn't call it dominant with her. I don't think she's a dominant personality. I think she's just a little more pushy. It could also be considered like more eager to learn. This in the long run can actually be better to teach tasks because she is more wanting to learn. You can tell how she's looking at it. She's trying to figure a way up to get it or figure out what I want from her. So that's actually a really good thing. She's gonna be a little more laid back, less interested in activities. See, this is really good though. They're both thinking like, oh, maybe we should not take it. Even though she lay down, she's not going for it. I'm going to let her be. This is very good. Then I would move it again. Leave it. Now, another thing is if I throw it where it's farther away from me, leave it. Because this gives them that temptation of, oh, it's over there, maybe I can go. And then it gives me that chance to, you know, once again, correct them. I go there to the touch, 
leave it but still I'm, I'm staying back so really show them that even if it's like tempting and they feel like they can get away with it I'm still watching them <laughs> so they can't so I like to go from the dog's nose and kind of push them back okay. if they're like more mellow like this okay. um, because this is sensitive and you don't have to use a lot of pressure so I can easily do this to let them know that this is my space and it really gets their attention because like I said the muzzle area is very sensitive and I'm, I'm using very little pressure just putting the two finger I'm not tapping or anything just literally using that to push them back and so she's looking at me more now she's starting to pay attention to me because she already realized that I can get her attention and I can correct her and I'm in charge so she will basically look at me for guidance so you can see she does a lot of like Checking out with me what she's supposed to do. They walked away. This is very good. I'll call them back. Come on, girls. And then we can give them a treat. Sit. Sit. Okay, take it. Take it. Good. Now we go back to they took a treat. It can be a little confusing because now I'm going to put it down and tell them to leave it again. Sit. <coughs> leave it. Leave it. See, and I like the dog to be paying attention to what I'm telling them. That's why I do the psh with my hand before I just say leave it and throw it down when they're still in the process of learning because it'll be too much for them. Give them enough time to process exactly what you're telling them because they will remember. I said leave it. I did a little touch before. So when I put my hand, see, I got their attention. Leave it. See how they look and they look right back up with me because they know that I'm getting their attention and I'm, t I'm actually communicating with them. Good girls. Now, same thing with the down. So they're getting to the point where you can just kind of tap down. She seems to always be the first one to do things. Down. See how I'm not asking her to lay down with a verbal command? Because I know that they're not quite there. Um, because otherwise she would lay down much faster. So. But what you see me doing is that I'm actually moving my hand a little bit farther away from her nose because see I'm making her think. I could get her to lay down much faster if I went there and did like this, like closer to her nose. If I do, do it like this, she's going to lay down much faster. But I want her to also think about what she's doing. That's why I'm on purpose making her lay down with just this because she's doing that already. So you keep doing this until she goes down, then she gets the treat. You can see how she had to think about it right. without a lot of guidance from me. Okay. And that's a lot of the issues I've been dealing with is that she's really pushy trying to get the treat yeah. away from her. So see, like I said, this is not um, like a dominant thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that she's more eager, a little bit more driven. If we call it like have, she has a little bit more drive. She's a little more focused. So these things are actually good when it comes to teaching them new commands. Mm -hmm. um, you're just going to see that she might be a little bit more it looks like she's challenging you, but she doesn't mean to. It's just okay. like she's really trying to find the ways around, which means she's very smart. Okay. She's a little more alert, more... Um, it's not that, like, the, the, I wouldn't say like she's more bright than her sister, but it's because she's a little bit more eager okay. and driven, yeah. she's going to put more effort into figuring out, what, figuring, out, figuring out what you want and also how to, um, how to solve problems. So it makes her a little better but a candidate if you're trying to teach tricks or obedience. And this one I think would be better like if you just want a dog that goes everywhere and is not interested in anything. It's okay. going to be easy to get her to that level. Alright. Let's see. They remember? Leave it. Leave it. Now if you see here I'm really pushing them now. The treat is very close to them. Leave it. Leave it. Now, <laughs> now this is very important. When they make a mistake, so I'll move right out of, her, out of her mouth. Because she needs to learn that if she does go for it, she's not going to get, she's not going to get away with it and like just eat the treat. So, now this is also a little bit confusing because they are used to following my hands now to go down. So what they're doing is, they're not even trying to challenge me, it's just that they think I want them to lay down when I put my hands there. Leave it. See how actually she's learning faster? Even though she's a little bit more pushy, she, she's learning everything a little faster. She, she, I put the trick really close to her mouth and she's not trying to get it. This one is a little bit more aloof because she's not so focused. You know, she's not so, um, psh, hey, leave it. Up. 
So see, this is very important. If she gets it, you open her mouth and get it out. Okay. Leave it. Because it will teach her, like I said, that, that if, even if she thinks she can grab it really quick and she's done, she won, she'll realize that you still will correct her once she does that. Now, she's doing really good. She's looking at it. And I can remind her, leave it. If they're thinking too much, you just remind them that they're supposed to leave it. So they don't, they don't go for it like this. Like, leave it. Now, see, I'm, I'm very calm. I'm not over-blocking her. I'm letting her think and process what's going on. This is very important because she's, uh, she's just learning this now. So if I keep blocking her, she's going to sense a lack of confidence in me, in my ability to communicate with her. If I act really calm and only go with my hand, if she's actually going to get it, she's going to realize... So number one, she's going to realize what she's doing. So like that, she was a little too close. I can do this. Leave it. Just chill out her now. You're getting too close. Um... But it's only when she's doing that. So it gives more, it, it kind of throws the responsibility a little bit more on, on them. They have to think it. I'm not blocking them with my energy. I'm just letting them decide, do they do the right thing or do they make a mistake, you know? What's that one's name? Brandy. Brandy? Yep. And the other one? Lenny. Lenny. Brandy is the one that's with the pink color. Yes. Brandy and Lenny. Good girls. Down. Good. Down. Good. Alright, see so how not over treating them. They don't need to be getting treats every time they go down now. Um, they'll be just happy to go down and then we're going to move on to the next thing. Down. So when they get up, down, down. Also getting them to hold the down. So what we do here is now they don't just get the treat when they first go down. They have to hold the down for a little bit longer before they get the treat. Down, so there's a distraction. So if they move, we just guide them back down, but no treat. They have to wait a little bit longer before they will receive the treat. <coughs> Leave it. <coughs> Come, good girl. Okay, so now we're going to go in a down. So we just do this and then throw her down. And that's what I'm talking about. She did not get a treat. She's expecting it. I'm going to move myself back a little bit. Go back. And then I'll reward her. Because she stayed. She did not follow the treat. She did not follow my hand. She held it down. So I'm going to stand up. So again, if you're going, she's doing great right from the beginning. You just keep rewarding that. Um, she may get distracted when she sees the treat up here. She may be a little tempted to move for it. She didn't. We're just going to go down. Now, she only gets this re the, the reward now if she holds that down completely. Even if, go if she did perfect and I'm going to give her the treat and she gets up because it's getting closer to her, we go back in the down. Because that's how you create that perfection with the down. It does not matter if the treat is right there, she won't move. It doesn't matter if someone is right there patting her, she won't move. Because she will know she only gets this treat if she holds the down. So see, that was just natural for her. She just stayed there. So I'll go a little bit farther back. You can tell, tell she... She's wondering what's happening. She did very good. I'll go back, put down. So that's what I'm talking about. She's got up very a little bit, and I pulled my hand back. She went back down. I gave her the treat. Down, good down, good girl. Now, same thing with the leave it. I'm gonna just toss the treat and give her a little practice with that. Down. That was perfect. Because it's very tempting, she looked at it, she looked right back at me. Good, down. Okay, so now I'm going to release her, and we're going to turn her around into a down face in this way. It's good to do many different positions, many different places, so she would associate what's happening, and she doesn't think that this is just happening right now, she's getting the treat, it's more like wherever you put her in the down. Brandy, come, come. Good girl. So I like to release them like that, just call them by their names and tell them to come so you don't create a lot of excitement. You don't have to say, okay, you're free, because that just creates a lot of an anticipation. And so every time she's in a down, she's going to be waiting for this release command and she's going to get more excited as she gets older. <coughs> so back in a down, down, good girl. So same thing, she did not get a treat. We just walk away. She's doing very good. I'll go back, down, good girl. Walk back again. Um, it, it's always a good idea to keep your hand in front of the dog. You just keep them focused on your hand. I didn't even need to do that. She did really good. But if, if the other one or ever you're training them and they, they're a little more 
um, having a harder time holding the down, keep your hands there. I, that was actually my fault because I took too long down. And she just got a little confused and she thought maybe she was free to go. So it's good that you're... No. Okay, so this time she made a mistake since she's not going to get the tree. So we gotta go back in the down. Down. So that would be perfect because she will learn from those mistakes. There was no treat, there was no reward. Now if she stays down, she gets the treat. Remember this is very new so you have to be really careful with the correction because it will be confusing to her. Once the dog knows down and they just choose not to listen, that's when you can use more of a pressure to reinforce. You know, that's what I like to do to create um, what we call balance training. Uh, so that way she knows she has to stay down, she knows she has to go down when you tell her. Down. And so we're going to this new level, which is a, the first distraction that I'm using, is me walking around her. Because as of right now, there's no actual distraction, it's just teaching her that she needs to hold the down. But when I walk around her, it's very tempting for her to follow me, and also get distracted because she's watching me so much, that when I turn, she tries to turn to keep, to keep watching me. So we're going to pull her back in a down, and we're going to repeat this until she stays down. And you see that you have to be very persistent when you're training and very patient because this could happen a hundred times, you know? It's very brain new. But also after once or twice of her getting it right and getting rewarded, it becomes so much easier. She can make this, this breakthrough where she knows she can stay down, she gets rewarded, and she does not have to get up when I go around her. This is not her being stubborn or anything. It's just she's a little confused when I go around. Come. Good. Sit. Down. Good. Down. <laughs> yeah, and so this is where a lot of people give up or they get frustrated. They just think they're not getting it. But they, she, she will never get it unless you expose her to this distraction. Now this will start to teach her the very basic of ignoring something that's going on around and still being able to hold it down. So very patient, a lot of repetition here. Down. Alright, so just, we'll practice everything now. Come. Good girl. Sit, good girl. Down. Now try to teach you. Let me walk around her. Down. So basically, that's your goal right there. Good girl. Down. This is what she couldn't handle before. And now she's really paying attention to me. She's watching. That's very good. Okay, let's go. Good girl. Okay. Right. Come on. Good girls. So same thing, I'm going to be pretty casual with like dropping the tree. Leave it. See that? But it's pretty easy to remind them just when I'm looking at it. Leave it. And that's one training session. Leave it. Even when I'm picking it back up, I'm going to continue to reinforce it. Now same thing that way. Leave it. I think that's very tempting. I'm leave it. I'm doing it on purpose, putting it so close to them. Leave it. Leave it. So see now she has ah, right there. That was when she really had to think because it's so close to her. Sit. Leave it. Okay, so right here. I'll put it very close to them this time. Ready? Leave it. Shh. Ah. Put it very close to them. Leave it. And now, so that was very good. She's thinking about it. Leave it. Very good. 